Um, here I got the uh, Crossman 1322. It, it, it's a you know a, a pump action, and it's a 22 caliber .22. Um, you know, uh, kind of a manual action pump. Um, so it it's a pellet gun, but it does not um, require CO2 because it's pump. Um, got the safety here, and you would load the um, pellet in here, the uh, .22 pellet. Anyway, um, it's very simple. Um, it does pack a punch. Uh, they recommend a max pump of 10. Uh, if you do get up to 10 pumps, it would be very tough to do more. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's tough even at around, you know, 9, 10 pumps. So, um, this one comes with this um, rifle stock, which uh, you can um, replace the handgun version. Uh, it does give you a lot of, of um, accuracy uh, just against your shoulder. And uh, to me, it does have good power. Uh, last time I checked it. Um, very simple, like I said. 10 pumps, uh, no CO2. Toss in your uh, pellet, load, and, um, you know, uh, unload it and shoot it. Uh, what I like about it, no CO2, right? So you don't spend a lot of money on CO2. And pretty accurate, um, pretty good power, pretty good power. We're going to see, because I will shoot this target. Uh, it's not very uh, thick, but it does show you a little bit more of how much it will, um, I guess, tear this up. There's a little bit of baby power in here. Um, kind of give you a little bit of an effect, maybe. Maybe. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, um, some people, and maybe, maybe me included, uh, in a pinch, would consider this um, somewhat of a self-defense, maybe. Uh, you know, you are shooting a 22. Uh, it's easy to grab and just pump and load. Okay, so you get one shot uh, in a pinch and you can um, reload and, and shoot uh, if you disengage from somebody um, if you know let's say you're upstairs or something um, you know this is only in a pinch if you don't have an actual firearm uh, which I don't uh, with kids in the house um, that's something that I haven't um, really progressed to yet um, obviously I have a huge collection of uh, air pistol um, kind of well kept away from the kids and and you really can't it's very tough for them to uh, you know load the cylinder and do something stupid with it uh, or unsafe um, and this I don't you know with a 22 pellet uh, it would be very very tough to be lethal um, you know to actually you know really uh, seriously seriously hurt somebody um, you would have to shoot them I don't know yeah uh, just in the right place anyway um, you know if you have this at nine pumps and that last rack up uh, giving people a warning and saying you have a weapon um, I don't know it, it may be plausible uh, as a self-defense uh, piece okay um, We'll see. Let's look at the the power, and um, I don't know. It, it's better than nothing uh, if you want to keep it next to your nightstand. All right. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm all set up. Um, let me get the ten pumps in. That's 10. All right. 
put in my um, pellet. Okay. Okay, so uh, just for fun, I'm going to blow up these cans, um, you know, with the 22. Okay, so um, let's look at the cans first. Clearly, I hit the cans, and it ripped through it pretty good with a 22. Um, but it didn't knock it off, which is kind of weird. Uh, I thought it would, uh, but it went such really clean through, and um, you know, for some reason did not knock it off. All right. There's that. Um, so this target, um, I, I think I it only showed three in the video at the close-up, uh, but I did shoot six and um, dug through pretty good. Um, it passed through, but uh, because there's no pellet in here, none of the pellets got trapped. So, um, it went through the wood pretty good. I suspect it would, you know, do a little bit of damage if you were to hit somebody with this pellet. Um, so pretty good power as far as I can see. Uh, so, all in all, it's nice. Um, if you look at the video, I don't know if you can even judge it. Um, but the reload time, I based on what I was doing... It's about 25 to 30 seconds, so to to pump it and um, you know to cock it back and put a pellet in there uh, took about 25 to um, 30 seconds. So if you want to scare somebody from your house while you're trying to call the police or something, uh, maybe maybe it's feasible um, and maybe it's doable. Uh, it would certainly scare somebody if they hear um, the cocking noise and um, you know you give them a verbal warning and they sense or feel a pellet um, going past them you know if they're in your house for some reason uh, that would scare them I'm sure um, so there's that alright so take a look at it. It's really nice. It's not that expensive. Um, you know, I think about you can get them a deal for 70 bucks or whatever. Um, pretty cool. No CO2. That's what I like about it. Simple. Uh, it does shoot a 22 pellet, which um, is nice, I think. So check it out when you get a chance. All right.